Well, hello, Python friends on YouTube. Welcome to another Python web scraping tutorial. And now uh, we are going to move over to starting to crawl a little bit more complex uh, crawlers. And I hope you enjoyed the intro stuff on Beautiful Soup. So let's get started. So, so far, the examples uh, in this tutorial have covered single static pages with somewhat artificial canned examples. So in this uh, series on crawling, we'll start looking at some real world problems with scrapers traversing multiple pages and even multiple sites. Web crawlers are called such because they crawl across the web. At the core is an element of recursion. They must retrieve page contents from a URL, examine that page for another URL and re retrieve that page ad infinitum beware however just because you can crawl the web doesn't mean that you always should the scrapers used in previous examples were great in situations where all the data you need is on a single page with web crawlers you must be extremely con conscious contentious conscientious conscientious of how much bandwidth you are using and make every effort to determine if there's a way to make the target servers load easier so remember that so traversing a single domain uh, we are going to talk about six degrees uh, game so if you haven't heard of six degrees of wikipedia you, you almost certainly heard certainly heard uh, of its namesake six degrees of kevin uh, bacon in both games, the goal is to link two unlikely subjects. In the first case, Wikipedia articles that link to each other. In the second case, actors appearing in the same film by a chain containing no more than six total, including the two original subjects. For example, Eric Idle appeared in Dudley Do Right with Brendan Fraser, who appeared in The Air I Breathe with Kevin Bacon. We can see that if we go to, um, let me check, the Oracle of Bacon. There's somebody had created this website. We can check the links. Uh, in this case, the chain from Eric Idle to Kevin Bacon's Bacon is only three subjects long. So in this video, we are going to uh, start a project that will become a six degrees uh, of wikipedia uh, six degrees of wikipedia solution finder that is we'll be able to take that eric idle page uh, of eric idle and find the newest number of link clicks few, uh, excuse me and find the fewest number of link clicks that will uh, take us to the Kevin Bacon page on Wikipedia. So another note about Wikipedia's server load. According to the Wiki Wikimedia Foundation, the parent organization behind Wikipedia, the site's web properties receive approximately 2,500 uh, 2, hits per second, with more than 99% of them to the Wikipedia domain. So you can check that out at the traffic volume section of uh, Wikimedia in figures. Uh, because of the sheer volume of traffic, our web scrapers are unlikely to have any noticeable impact on Wikipedia server load. However, if you run the code examples in this video extensively or create your own projects that scrape Wikipedia, I encourage you to make a tax deductible donation to the Wikimedia Foundation. So even a few dollars will offset your server load and help make education resources available to everyone else. So this is the MIDI, uh, Kevin Bacon mini project. So let's now just try to write some introductory code uh, for this example. So you should already know how to write Python script that retrieves an arbitrary Wikipedia page and produces a list of links on that page. 
So let's try that. Call it wherever you like. And our famous boilerplate again. input the class and then the HTML page that we want to open starting page and we'll start at Kevin Bacon just get that right I'll define our beautiful soup object and use our parser and our loop for loop to go through all links. If it finds href in the links attributes. Print the link attribute has a tref, the content of a tref. <laughs> There's a problem here, and it should not be uh, like this. Okay, we have a problem, and it's uh, URL, no edited videos <laughs> with all the. Uh, let's see what actors I. Again, typos. Sorry about that. So it gives us a lot of. links here there's a lot of links that we don't need but if we look at the list of links produced we'll notice that article articles that we expected here let's see if we can find Apollo yes we do Apollo is here and Philadelphia is there and if we just time Emmy Award is there so there there are here are there are some some things here that we don't want as it as well we don't want for example wiki foundation stuff like these links, terms of use, private policy, or contact us pages. So in fact, Wikipedia is full of sidebar, footer, and header links that appear on every page along with the links to the category pages, talk pages, and other pages that do not contain different articles. We are just interested in the articles. For example, category stuff. Category articles, for example, We don't need that and we don't even need the top pages, for example. So an example that I've looked at is that one person while working on a similar Wikipedia scraping pro project mentioned that this person had written a very large filtering function with over 100 lines of code in order to determine whether an internal 
Wikipedia link was an article page or not. Unfortunately, unfortunately he had not spent much time upfront trying to find patterns between article links and other links. So, or he might have discovered the trick. So if you examine the links that point to article pages, they all have three things in common. They reside within the div with the ID set to body content. The URLs do not contain columns and the URLs begin with slash wiki slash. You can see that on Kevin Bacon's page. So if we go to the div ID with body content, you see there, this is the body content and the URLs do not have a colon that we want. The, the article pages that we want, they don't have a colon and they start with slash wiki slash. So we can use these rules to revise the code, our code. Let me just close this. And so we can re revise the code slightly to, to retrieve only the desired article links. So let's And this should be the same and we should change this line here. Mm. We're not looking for div. If you want the first element, the ID of body content and then we want to find all under there the attributes and then we need to do some regular expressions To revise the regular expression section for to understand this, and we need parentheses on this one. Starts with wiki and does not contain a colon. This and for this we should this should be the same and now let's save this as find Let's see how it goes. Much nicer. So it's gotten all the article links. So if you run it, you should see a list of all article URLs that the Wikipedia article on Kevin Bacon links to. Of course, having a script that finds all article links in one hard-coded Wikipedia article, while interesting, is fairly useless in practice. We need to be able to take this code and transform it into something more like the following routes. Uh, we could have a single function, for example, get links that takes in a Wikipedia article URL of the forum slash wiki slash and an article name and it returns a list of all linked article URLs in the same form. 
and a main function that calls get links with some starting article, chooses a random article link from the returned list and calls get links again until we stop the program or until there are no articles article links found on the new page and that code will run uh, quite long I've tested it so you need to stop the program at least I had to do that so let's get into it so let's start a new file let's see. Wikipedia links complete and lib dot request excuse me request import URL open from ES4 import beautiful soup import date time and import random for create red seed and then of course the regular expression I'll explain in the end what this does function so we're starting URL and appended with the page that we want soup object and define our parser and return what we find where we want to what we need what we want to be found same as in the last example you will look at the body content and again we need to define our the a links and build up our links with regular expression Starting with slash wiki slash not including the colon and then we need to gather our links in the list. Collect, we collect it, builds the URL by appending Kevin Bacon as the article URL. Then we have for loop. Ref new 
article. So, I'll try to run it. Hopefully, no data time is not defined. And it should be typos are common. Okay. Get links is not get links. It should be. It should be links to be more, if we want to be more correct. So it should now start to just get random links on the page and just follow those links. So while the program is running, I'll talk about what's happening here. So the first thing the program does after importing the needed libraries is set the random number generator seed with the current system time. This practically ensures a new and interesting random path through Wikipedia articles every time the program is run. So every time you run it, it will the result will be different what it prints out. So next it defines the get links function which takes in an article URL of the form slash wiki slash etc prepends the wikipedia domain http colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org and retrieves the beautiful soup object of the html at that domain it then extracts a list of article link tags based on the parameters discussed previously and returns them the main body of the program begins with setting a list of article link tags the links variable to the list of links in the initial page of kevin bacon it then goes into a loop finding a random article link in the page extracting the h href attribute from it printing the page and getting a new list of links from the extracted url so of course there's a bit more to solving uh, six degrees of Wikipedia problem than simply building a scraper that goes from page to page. So we must be able to store and analyze the resu re resulting data. And we'll get more on the uh, continue more on the solution to this problem in, in a later tutorial, but this is the start. So I'll stop the program. Otherwise, it will just go running. So another note on pseudo random numbers and random seeds. So in this example, we use Python's random number generator to select an article at random on each page in order to continue a random traversal of Wikipedia. However, random numbers should be used with caution. While computers are great at calculating correct answers, they're terribly, terribly at just making things up. For this reason, random numbers can be a challenge. Most random number algorithms strive to produce an evenly distributed and hard to predict sequence of numbers, but a seed number is needed to give these algorithms some, something to work with initially. The exact same seed will produce the exact same sequence of random numbers every time. So for this reason, we use the system clock as a starter for producing new sequences of random numbers and thus new sequences of random articles so this makes the program a little more exciting to run and for the curious the python pseudo random number generator is powered by the mersenne twister algorithm while it produces random numbers that are difficult to predict and uniformly distributed it is slight it is slightly processor intensive random numbers this good don't come cheap and also on i also have to mention how to handle your exceptions although we are omitting most exception handling in the code ex code for the sake of brevity in these examples beware that there are many potential pitfalls that could arise so what if wikipedia changed the name of the body can content tag for example so the in that case the code would crash so although these scripts might be fine to run as closely watched examples autonomous production code requires far more exception handling that we can fit into uh, this these tutorials so check that video 
where we I talk about exception handling with the beautiful soup to get an idea. So I hope you have gotten the interest of seeing how we can delve deeply into the to how to traverse sites and getting links and following links on uh, through our code. So I hope this has uh, given you some interest. And if you enjoy the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, comment, or share the video if you like. And I hope to see you in the next video. Okay, bye guys.